So we're now going to move on to look at how we would process a booking using a gift card. In the training series in a later chapter, we're going to be looking at um, utilizing and using the store and the functionality that exists within that. And one of the functionality pieces is the ability to sell and manage gift cards within your academy. So we're going to take a look at now how we would apply a gift card to a booking. And again, we just need to navigate across to the book a lesson option. And generally, we're going to be using gift cards against one to one lesson bookings, but gift cards can be applied against classes. But for the purpose of this training exercise, we're going to apply a gift card to a one to one lesson booking. So let's go ahead and choose the one to one lesson option. This time, we're not going to choose the swing studio and we're gonna choose a 30 minute lesson. We're gonna select a new time. So let's go with six o'clock. And this time, instead of booking a, return, a recurring booking, we're just gonna book a single lesson time. So we're gonna go ahead and choose book now. And we're gonna go ahead now and create a new registration. So let's go with a new student. And we're going to go down now and choose the payment option. So the payment option that we're going to choose is Pay at Academy. Again, we're making a booking on someone's behalf, so we, it's unlikely that we're going to be using a debit or credit card. And we don't need to use the package option as we know we're going to be using a gift card. So this time we're going to choose Pay at Academy. We're going to navigate down and we need to now go to the gift card code box. So there's a few options that we're going to see here. We're going to see the gift card code box where we can add the code, a red arrow, which we're going to talk about in a moment. And then we've got the apply gifts button. So as this is a customer who doesn't have an account, we need to be adding the code. So hopefully we're going to have the code that's accessible through the admin area, or you can get this from your Academy manager, or the customer may have sent the code to you. In the, in the contact you've had with them, maybe over, over the phone or over email. So what we simply need to do is we just need to add that code, which I've got there. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and hit apply gifts. And we can see now that the gift coupon code has been applied successfully. If we navigate up to the top, what we're, we're gonna see is we're gonna see the lesson cost. Um, it lists a gift card discount of 60 pounds and the total lesson cost now is zero. The reason it's lifting the gift, lifting a, a listening gift card gift discount as sixty pounds is that person has a sixty pound um, balance remaining on their gift cards, and what the system is going to do, it's going to deduct thirty pounds off that gift card discount, as the lesson cost is is only thirty pounds. So we're going to go down to the bottom and we're going to hit book. And we can see that the order has now been processed. So let's go back to the My Locker section. And we're going to see how the, the lesson has now been added to the schedule. So let's go back in now and we're going to process another booking on behalf of that student. So what we're going to do is we're going to book another lesson time. And we're going to book them for the following Friday. And we're going to book them in at the same time as six o'clock book now. This time we can select the student, which was Tony Roberts, and hit book now. And we're going to scroll down, choose the Pay at Academy option. However, um, we know that Tony indicated that he, sorry, the system indicated that Tony had um, 60 pounds on his gift card and the booking that we made was for 30. So Tony should now have 30 pounds balance left on his gift card that he can use to process this booking. So what we're not gonna do is we don't need to add the code in again into this box. What we need to do now is just hit the arrow. And what we're gonna see here is um, under Tony's account, it's automatically saved the coupon code. The total is 60. 
He's used 30 and he has 30 remaining. So we're going to go ahead and just tick the box and hit use gifts. And um, we just need to now navigate down to the bottom and hit book now. So Tony Roberts now wouldn't have any remaining gift card balance in his, his locker account. He's used his £60 gift card amount across those two bookings. Mm -hmm.